Around 1.3 billion cinema tickets are sold every year more than the sale of tickets for Hollywood flicks since the first Indian silent film, Raja Harish Chandra, directed by Dada Saheb Phalke in 1913 and the first talkie movie Alamara made in 1931, which had a four-minute long kissing scene it would give Imran Hashmi an inferiority complex up to Ranbir Kapoor's Jagajasus, the Indian film industry has come of age. With an estimated annual turnover of over $3 billion, offering direct and indirect employment 6 million people approximately and churning out more than 800 films each year in more than half a dozen languages, the Indian film industry is the largest in the world in numbers. Around 1.3 billion cinema tickets are sold every year more than the sale of tickets for Hollywood flicks nowhere film actors exercise such a hold on the national psyche college and university students and the youth in general try to emulate their favorite heroes and heroines in their dresses, hairstyle, mannerism and body language. Corporate sector laps at reigning male female actors for endorsement of their brands. Amitabh Bachchan is game for any product from Cool, Cool Navradna Hair Oil, Chaiwan Prash, Reed Taylor to Swatch Bharat Star Waja Band. Shah Rukh Khan is brand ambassador for Dish TV, Santro Car and numerous things, including Fairness Cream. And, Karina Kapoor Khan endorses Geetanjali Diamond Jewelry, Pantaloon Clothes, Laptop and many more. And Dream Girl Hema Malini promotes Kenro Water Purifier. Apparently, manufacturers believe their sales would go up with endorsement by celebrities. Political parties rope in popular actors to attract audience at a dose of glamour and garner more votes. TV stars playing mythological characters command a higher premium. Thanks to their films and fan clubs, McGeer, NTR, Jay Alalitha, Regina Kant and Kamal Hassan have enjoyed mesmerizing sway on the masses. At the dawn of independence, still driven by Nehruvian idealism, filmmakers made films that raised social issues of their time. Chetan and Anz Nishanagar won the first Grand Prix for India at Cannes Film Festival and Bimal Roy's Do Big As Am and was greeted with critical acclaim and box office success fall in this category. Satyajit Ray's trilogy of Apis World beginning with Pather Panchali Raj Kapoor's Awara, Shri 420 and Jagde Ratho and Guru Dutt's Piyasa, Kages K.E. Fool and Sahib B. Aur Ghulam narrated stories on the celluloid in a believable and authentic manner and raised issues some of which are as relevant today as they were at that time. Mother India, a timeless epic on rural India first Indian film to be nominated for an Oscar, whose basic message, soul-searching choice between social duty and personal relationship, has been retold in different films such as Gunja Jumna, Diwar in Shakti, K. A. S. I. F. S. Magnum Opus Mughal A. S. M. W. A. S. N. T. Just a royal drama of a prince's affairs with a Kanese, but a sharp-edged clash of values, human relationships and a ruler's duty epitomized in its memorable dialogues. It's a saga of son versus father, emperor versus prince, artist versus ruler and a mother torn between her husband and son. In the song, Piarkia to Darnakia, anarchically sounded like a rebellious material girl of 21st century. Sadana flagged the plight of prostitutes, dual kafula case of surrogate mother, Gunja Jumna, G's Deshmine Gangabadi High and Mujay Jean who raised the issue of poverty and exploitation, which pushed good-hearted simpletons to pick up arms. Sund and Yanishwar and Dosi, Sharada, Chardil Chawarahine, Fierce Bahogi, Bandini, Sujata, Kalapani, Hum Dono and Guide were clean family entertainers, which touch upon situations that reveal goodness of human beings. Bimal Das Devdas, besides being a tragic love story, was a commentary on the social ethos of its time. Love Triangle and extramarital affairs have been eternal favorite of directors and given high-voltage entertainers like Gumra, Sangam, Arth and Kabi Alvida Nakena and Rustam which also depict social norms and moral dilemmas. Though Raj Kapoor, Dilip Kumar, Devanand, Dharmendra, Rajesh Khanna and Amitabh also portrayed characters with shades of grey, it was Shah Rukh who tasted mass adulation in negative roles in films like Dare and Basajar. Many viewers feel that depiction of extreme violence use of abusive, profane and vulgar language exposure of flesh and lewd double-meaning dialogues in today's films impact the young and impressionable minds negatively there is some validity in this criticism. If films like Hacky Cat, with unforgettable patriotic songs boosts national fervor want senseless violence, titillation and sex have a negative impact the corrupt, exploitative, unkind and heartless society has been exposed in films of Mehboob Khan, Raj Kapoor and Guru Dutt. Shyam Eagle's films from Anchor to Well Done Abba, have handled burning social issues. Even his middle-path films like Gumaka, Sardari Begum, Mandy, Makbul and Zubeda had strong social content. Prakash J.H.A.'s films, Gangajil, Mirit Udand and Baharan are commentaries on what goes on in rural Bihar. Sadia, Shal, Company and Sarkar present the seamy side of our society. 
Vishal Bardwaj dared to show the grim reality of the making of a terrorist and hater. Late Harisha Kashmukha Jis Anand, Bawarchi, Sadhya Kam and Chupka Chupka Basu Chatterjee's Raj Naganda and Gol Mal and Basu Bhattacharya's T. Sri Kasam offered wholesome entertainers with a lot of food for thought. Today the dividing line between the parallel cinema and commercial cinema has blurred. So the Big B of Zanjir, Dwar in Shalai gives memorable performances in the films like P.A., Pika and Pink. Vidya Balan who appeared as sari clad Paranita Dose and Mind doing a dirty picture and Kahani. And Ranbir Kapoor experiments with new characters with each film from Barfi T. A. Jawani Hai Diwani to biopic of Sanjay Dutt. Shah Rukh who became the heartthrob of millions of teenagers with films like Dil Tapagal Hay and Coach Kachoda Hay also portrayed strong characters in films like Swades, Chalk to India and My Name is Khan. Dengal has given Amir of Lagan, Rangdi Basanti and Tarzamin Parfame the biggest hit of his life it has earned back quote 1,000 crores in China. And Salman who has endeared his fans for 25 years main Piarkia, Hum Dil Dachuk Sanam, etc. Romances heroines half his agent is not only Dabong, Bodyguard and Ekta Tiger, but also by Rangi Bijan and Sultan, which have received box office success as well as critical acclaim. With their enormous reach and appeal, can films act as an agent of social change unlikely? Films are seen, they get talked about some even get awards and then forgotten. Films like A Wednesday, Iqbal, Beja Fry, Vicky Donor, Pon Singh Tomar, The Lunchbox, Aligar, Nirja, Queen, Highway and UDTA Punjab offer real slices of life but don't change society. Even if films can't change society, they do serve society by entertaining, drawing attention to socially relevant issues, instigating discussion and debate about them and sometimes provoking some action. Not a mean achievement by any account. The writer is a former ambassador.